This painting is inspired by those magical summer nights where you're surrounded by the glow of the fireflies. And we can use a little bit of artistic license to show how this glow might illuminate the plants and the trees around them. We can start this one off by painting a nice smooth background. This is going to be the night sky. So I mixed a dark blue and covered nearly the whole background. I added a little white towards the bottom for a, a hint of a glow from the horizon. A nice wide brush will really help you get an even layer of gouache for the background. This is a three quarter inch flat and it's going to help to smooth out the paint and allow you to blend easier. Once your background is dry, you can take a smaller round brush and add the silhouettes of some trees. I kind of did these leaning in from the sides to frame the painting. And these are done in a kind of darker purple colour. For any kind of tree shapes, I like to block in the main trunk and the branches so I know the basic structure. And then I can go ahead and add the leaves a little bit at a time. For the foliage along the bottom, we can start with a dark green. You can use a small round brush and pick out some silhouettes of some plants along the top edge. You don't need to paint the darkest green all the way down, but it should go most of the way to the bottom. Over the top of this, we're going to add a lighter green and these are going to be some shapes that we can see more clearly than the, than the silhouettes that we've just painted. Again we can use the same round brush to pick out these shapes. Along the bottom of the painting we'll add our final layer of plant shapes and we'll do this in a deep purple colour. We want this purple to be deeper than the purple that we used for the tree silhouettes and we'll use this same colour to add some shadows to the trees and give them a little bit of dimension. As you're adding the dark purple to the trees think about the light and how it's going to come through the opening in the trees. So leave some of the, the leaves closest to the opening lighter and focus the shadows on the areas away from the opening towards the edge of the painting. You can use a dry brushing technique on the trunks to add the shadows and the texture in one go. Make sure that your brush is nice and dry and add a little bit of paint. Start somewhere where you want the paint coverage to be uh, quite solid and as the paint comes off your brush you'll find that the paint drags more and use this in areas where you want texture. To add the fireflies we're going to start with a little white dot. We're going to want these to be kind of glowing yellow orbs um, but if we put the yellow straight onto the blue background we're going to get glowing green orbs so we start with a little bit of white um, this is going to make like an isolation layer so we can add a little yellow over the top and help us get a, a brighter glow. Once you've marked the location of your fireflies you can go ahead and take a slightly damp brush with only a tiny bit of white gouache on and use it to smudge the dots out into larger circles. Try not to fuss too long at these little glowing spots. The more that you mess with the, the gouache, the more it's likely to mix the white with the layer underneath. If you do get an area where it mixes quite a lot, um, 
and you want to brighten it up just go ahead and let it dry and start again once you've kind of smudged all your white dots you can add a spot of bright yellow to the center and you can do the same thing that we did with the white by using a nearly dry brush and a tiny bit of paint to kind of smudge that dot out into the, the glow around it and this should stay on top of the white and stop it from mixing with the blue underneath in the plants along the bottom we can show how the light from the fireflies illuminates some of the leaves do this with a light yellowish green color and use it to accentuate the edges closest to the fireflies we can show this same effect of illumination in the, the leaves on the trees we'll use a light purple for this and we can highlight the leaves and the trunk around where the fireflies are and we can also soften the edges as these highlights move away from the fireflies and back into the shadows you can kind of just use a clean damp brush just to soften that edge and blend it into the darker paint underneath and finally you can use some white gouache to add some stars to your clear night sky <laughs> 